Hold on. Victim stated to officers that he has been having an ongoing issue with suspect. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. we That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even bandana black, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man, he just always showed love, man. So, you know, definitely shout out to Bandana Black. Yeah, what Eve will you bandana black? DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Check this out. Alright, yo, yo, what's up? Look, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. I know what you're probably thinking. I already know what you're probably thinking. Bandana Black, put the hands of God on that nigga right there. I know what you're probably, you're probably thinking that right there, but I'm going to let y'all know what happened, right? Statements were made. There were definitely statements made, but I had to, guys. I had to. Let's start there. Did Bandana Black make a statement? Come on someday anyway, so I might as well share with you guys this story right here. This is a 100% true story. All my daughter, she means it's a 100% story. 100% true story, right? So, this is what happened, right? So, actually, going, let me show you guys this, right? So, you just seen the video footage of uh, me and that guy. By the way, that right there was an actual uh, Buffalo police officer. Now, all right. Yo, pop, yo, what's up? Yo, stop playing with me. Come on, buddy. Listen, stop playing with me. Who the fuck you think you are? Stop playing with me. Who the fuck you think you are? Can you please stop playing with me? Punch your ass in the face, nigga. If that's what no, you, you want. want. If that's what you want to do, bitch ass nigga. If that's what you want to do, move your car. All right. Like I said. All right. I, all right. I'll block your ass in. Okay. Yo, see How about that? DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Did I know that was a Buffalo Police officer when this little alter altercation happened? Let's watch this clip and then we we, we get into that. Watch this. Just trying to do a couple of dishes, right? So you see that? Just a couple of dishes. Nothing here. Nothing here, so I'm good. Nothing here. I don't see any drippages, anything dry all over here. But when we go here, which I almost fucking died the other day. Hear that whatever it is is from my house, boom, whatever's in their kitchen, and just go, go, look at this. Like, this is what I have to go down the stairs, bro. This is me going down the stairs. This shit is crazy, bro. That shit is wild, bro. After the night that I had, bro. Niggas, them is electrical cords, by G. Like, do you hear this shit? And then look outside, watch this. Like, Okay, so as you can see in that clip right there, that's my uh, kitchen sink. Well, my old kitchen sink where I used to live at uh, before. So the apartment where I used to live at before, um, that's my old kitchen sink. So what happened was the neighbors downstairs below me, the neighbors, like in the, my old house, neighbors downstairs below me, they had moved out of the apartment, right? Because as you can see, the water and shit leaking all the way from my upstairs apartment, all through the downstairs apartment, all through the basement and all that. And as you know, I live in Buffalo, New York. And Buffalo, New York, what? Gets what? Cold. It gets cold as hell in Buffalo, New York. It's more like, Freezing cold, you could die in the freezing cold, especially if you got cold water just dripping off your house. So, um, this is like a few months ago. This is probably like, um, this is actually like three, it's probably like three, four months ago when this happened. What, like, so long story short, um, my landlord, which happens to be a Buffalo police officer, by the way, I did know he was a Buffalo police officer prior to this happening. That's why I didn't think this was gonna happen. I'm like, shit, cool. I'm, my landlord is a Buffalo police officer. I live in an area that's not really my my normal area. Like, my, it's not my neighborhood. I live in an area that wasn't my neighborhood. My landlord is a Buffalo police officer. I'm thinking like, it's a win-win. We got security cameras like that. There's nothing that can go wrong here. Not knowing this nigga was a slumlord. I ain't gonna say he was a slumlord because he had other properties he probably did take care of, just not our property. Uh, I can't even say allegedly because this shit is true. You see the, the video footage. So, long story short, the downstairs neighbor, they wind up 
stopped paying rent and they got mad because he wouldn't fix they shit. Imagine you in the kitchen doing dishes like that. A nigga upstairs doing dishes and shit just pouring all on you. Electrical sockets, all types of shit like that. Like, wasn't nothing I can do is I didn't even know. Like, half the time I forget. Like, it's just me and my daughter in the house. Like, I don't cook that often. Now I've been cooking a lot. I ain't gonna hold up. Jack Dan there, Chef Dan Well, anyways, um, this is what happened. So they moved out of the apartment. I waited for him to fix it. He said, Yo, I'm gonna come fix the apartment. I see the water shit leaking, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna come fix it. I said, Boom, cool. Wait like another month. He didn't come fix it. The following month, I said, Boom, I know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pay him half the rent in the beginning of the month, then pay him the other half once he fix it, because he told me he's coming to fix it. Now, I just ain't have all the money yet at one time. I ain't even have all the money. I ain't have all the rent money at one time, so I did pay him half, but that was like my reason. Like, yo, bro, you didn't come fix it, so he got the other half. But he just still never fixed it. He's like, yo, whenever you get it the half, bro, just, you know what I'm saying, you good, just take care of it. Just, just take care of it. I'm like, no, nigga, take care of the, 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 the waterfalls that's going through my house. Now, look at this video right here. This shit is wild, bro. Watch this, though. I'm about to show you what this is coming from. Like, when I go to steps, when I go in the house, bro. So don't let me do the dishes and come down the stairs and forget. This is what happened the other day. I came down the stairs right here, bum. Rushing down the stairs, turn. Oh, oh, oh shit, I almost died. I almost died. He showed you that shit. But look at this, bro. Waterfalls, nigga. Niagara Falls, nigga. I ain't even Niagara Falls, nigga. All of them. You hear this shit, bro? Those are electrical cords, my nigga. That and that and this probably not gonna turn out good. But look at this shit, bro. Look at that. Okay, now, as you can see from that clip right there, remember I was telling you how, like, Buffalo, New York is, like, freezing cold on the outside? As you can see from the outside of my house, like, the driveway of my house, I might I live upstairs. It's my upstairs kitchen that's leaking. All the way from the outside of the house, dripping all the way down, all in the basement, all outside. Long story short, if it would have snowed, we wind up, we would have wind up falling down the stairs. And actually, I probably should have stayed and fell down the stairs and just sued him. I'd probably be up $2 million, probably retired from YouTube right now. I am an idiot, but yet here I am explaining the story time to you guys. Well, anyways, uh, would have got frozen, would have been a dangerous situation. I have a 10 year old daughter, so basically, long story short, I told him, listen, I'm not paying nothing until you fix this, right? So I told the landlord, listen, I'm not paying nothing until you fix this. So you would think that he would come and come and come, come and fix it. No, he didn't come and fix it. He did exactly what happened in the beginning of the video. So what happened in the beginning of the video was one day, me and my girl in the house watching Netflix and like that. Next thing you know, we hear. Do, 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 do. So I do what any black person does. I immediately run around, flush everything. Nah, just play. I'm an upstate citizen. I ain't had nothing to flush. <laughs> but that's the first thing you think of when somebody knocking on the door. You think of like, man, I'd be watching too much crime TV. I'm thinking they're going to raid the house. There's nothing even a raid, bro. I pay taxes. I work for the city. It's just crazy. But, um, anyways, um, he, he knocked on the door. He banged on the door like that. And I opened the door. I'm like, yo, what's. I ain't open the door. I said, yo, who is it? He's like, yo, come move your beating car, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, I don't even know what it is at this time. I, I, he's at my upstairs door. Now, mind you, the people downstairs moved out, but sometimes like, the downstairs doors would be like unlocked because people come in and out. So it could have been like breaking out. I didn't know who the hell it was. I wasn't just going to open my doors. Long story short, me and him have words uh, back and forth, and it escalated pretty quick. I ain't going to hold you. So after that video right there, basically what he told me was, since he's a Buffalo police officer, he said, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, misuse taxpayer dollars, call on my friends from the Buffalo Police Department who's gonna misuse taxpayer dollars also too and misuse their fucking jobs. What he did was he said, yo, I'm gonna get your car towed since you wanna move out of the driveway. So he called a little ticket, you know, a little police train that go by that's supposed to be going by every neighborhood to check for like suspended registrations and like suspended insurance and shit like that. Well, he called that joint all the way from that precinct to come all the way to our personal house. This is a personal matter that's going on with a Buffalo police officer. Called the car to come pull up <clears throat> and clearly, like I said, I'm an upstanding citizen. I pay. I work for the city, my nigga. So of course I'm not gonna be out here dirty or like that. So they pulled up, ran my plates, basically told me, like, "Listen, bro, ain't nothing we can really do. Like he legit." But I was recording them at the same time. Also, too, was like, "Yo, if you're a Buffalo police officer, bro, like I'm not about to like fight you, bro. Like, cause you, first of all, you got a gun, and you, like I don't know where you guys are from, like." And, and Buffalo, you don't want to have a problem with a Buffalo police officer. The best thing you could do is move, and that's pretty much what I did. But it wasn't by by, by choice. So this is what happened, right? So. Remember I told you that the water stuff was coming to the um, apartment? What I did was, 
Um, I complained to him about it. I said, yo, I'm not paying, I'm not paying you rent at all, period, unless you like fix this. Like it's, it's a dangerous situation. Like I can't even live. Like we wind up like eating out every day. I was staying at other people's houses like that. It was just it was a bad situation. So um long story short, he was like, um I ain't fixing shit and um you can get out. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting out. Like, bro, I still live here. I'm glad to go to court. So long story short, he illegally evicted me. He just went there and just changed the locks to the door. Like I literally came home one day, he changed the locks to the door. Like now, he didn't change the locks when the downstairs people like, downstairs people moved out like he's supposed to, where like strangers and shit was coming to my house. So he ain't changed the locks then. But once I reported him to the health department and everything else like that, because I said it was water, mildew and shit to the house, um he just changed the locks in the house. So by then I'm like, listen, I got a choice. I could be like Tank the Bounty Hunter and kick this motherfucking door. I ain't even gonna hold you. I got a whole court with the Buffalo Police. Me telling the Buffalo Police, I'm kicking this shit in, bro, because my license say I live here. Technically, I can live here. And the Buffalo Police said, you know what? Technically, you can kick this motherfucker in because you do live here and you can't change the locks. But like, I don't wanna have beef with the Buffalo Police. So I did what any other real nigga would do. Called the police on the police line. Like, I had to call the police on the police. So yes, I did have to make a. Uh, does this come? Like, did I snitch? Hold on, bro. Does that count as snitching? I might have to edit this video. I don't know what that counts as. Can you snitch on, like, can you tell on the police? Is it telling if you tell the police on the police? Because I had to basically call the police for harassment. I basically said that, um, well, I'll, I'll read it to you guys. So this one right here, um, harassment. So basically what happened is victim stated, stated to officers that, hold on. Victim stated to officers that he has been having an ongoing issue with suspect who is his landlord over the conditions of his apartment. Victim stated suspect did show up on a bug date time, knocking on his upstairs apartment door, telling victim to have his vehicle in the driveway. Victim stated, I don't know how they just called me a victim, bro. I never said I was a victim, bro. I just said like your Buffalo police officer just came here and threatened me, bro. Um, but you know, I'm calling me a victim, bro. Point suspect began to argue with him and did threaten him saying he was going to block his car and see, please be playing these games. You could hear in the actual video, because I showed him the video too. He ain't see he's gonna block my car, he's just gonna punch me in my face, but that's neither here nor, here nor there. Until we find out whether it's snitching, if you tell him the police, I don't know. But anyways, um, block his car in, victim stated, suspect did come very close to him and began screaming in his face, causing the victim serious annoyance. Victim stated he did have video today of confrontation. One thing you can always do, if you're doing the right thing, like you're a law-abiding citizen, always record, bro, whether it's audio or video, because they literally, they're all police. They all try to call each other and say, basically just throw it away. He's just bugging, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yo, I'm not bugging. I actually have it on videotape of like him coming to my house and threatening me, bro. And then what happened was, I told you, he changed the locks in the door, right? So he changed the locks in the door. So I was like, well, damn, how am I gonna get the mail and stuff that the health department is sending me so I can you know saying, go to court with him? And it's like, cause you can't just like evict me. I ain't had no rules to live at at, at that moment. I literally, like, that was my only house to, to live at. So long story short, um, I go there to get the mail one day and like all of the mail is gone. So I'm like, we ain't even got like, you know, you little, um, like supermarket ads just like that. There was no mail at all in their period. So I hit him up, I'm like, yo, bro, first of all, where's the key to the house? Because you just locked me out of my own house, but where's my mail? You know what he tells me? And I got the text message too. He said, yo, bro, I, um, I forwarded your mail. You forwarded my mail. Well, my address says 278 Hastings right here. By the way, I don't live there no more, so I can show it. It says 278 Hastings right here. So where the fuck did you forward it to? Because this is my fucking, my fucking address. He never responded back. So what did I do? Went right back to the same, uh, watch because I knew for sure that I was gonna have to deal with this at a later date because this is how Buffalo Police says. So at this one, it basically just says, victim state suspect landlord did remove one DHL package and US, USPS mail without permission. Victim states he spoke with landlord and landlord stated he forwarded his mail and package to an unknown location. Victim does have proof of text messages. See, victim does have proof. They knew they had to add that back in there. You know what really made me mad? Besides the fact that this nigga just told me that he forwarded my mail. How the fuck do you forward my mail and I live at this address? But do you know what the DHL package was that he stole, bro? Scentbird. Nigga stole my scent bird. You know, every month you get a fresh new scent from scent bird. Every month they got like a little app you can choose with a little drink that you want. He stole my scent bird, Drake. And this is not a commercial. I know y'all probably thinking like, oh, use cold bandana fam. We'll get 10% off. This is the ad. No, this is not a pay. Like I literally was paying for this shit. It came in the mail. Landlord stole it. But um, that's the story how I got uh, beef with the uh, Buffalo Police. There is like, I will say this because it's like an ongoing, um, how do I say it? Uh, Things did escalate, I say, on both ends. At the end of the day, whether you're a Buffalo police officer or not, um, I'm a grown-ass man, dog. 
if you, we will just leave it at that. I'm a grown ass man, dog. DJ Payne to the Black Mr. Well Connected, more respected. Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo, and that's my story on how I got beef with the Buffalo Police. And that's crazy. We out. You know, I just found out too. When you send people like pictures in jail, you can't do shit like this. Like, if you thought, let me show y'all this picture right here. Like, so this picture right here, I just put up on the screen, right? Can't send it to nobody in jail. Apparently, those could be gang signs. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, how is this a gang sign? Like, it's peace. Like, this is literally the, the definition of no gang. Like, this is like anti gang. Like, if you look at any picture that I'm in, and I've been in pictures with gang members, not saying these are gang members, these are all US, like, citizens, taxpaying citizens. I'm just saying I've been in pictures with gang members, and this is universal for. I'm not a game member. I've literally been in pictures with niggas throwing them. I gotta stop doing this shit because like, one of these is actually gonna mean something and somebody gonna be offended. But yeah, I'm from Buffalo, New York, bro. I don't know what that shit means. But anyway, I've been in pictures with niggas throwing up whatever they throwing up and I purposely throw up peace signs. So how the fuck you can't send that to a jail? And I say that to say this because free my bro, uh, Burr. Shout out to uh, Burr. Shout out to the homie Burr, whoever is Burr him. Uh, free Burr. It's, cra it's crazy because my birthday was the other day. So obviously I'm not telling y'all his business because I'm saying free him. So clearly he's locked the fuck up right now. So. He hit me up on my birthday, right? So you would think that my friend would hit me up on my birthday. And by the way, it's my 40th birthday, as you can see. Um, but hit me up on my birthday and say, yo, bro, I just want to tell you, man, happy birthday. I hope you, know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you're having a good time and all that. No, nope. what does he do? And he actually paid for this too. Is it not free to like email people? So he, he took the time, his own money, to pay to tell me on my birthday that I was old as hell and I looked malnourished and I lost too much weight. I don't think I lost too much weight, bro. Just because I be working out eating. Like, I'm going to show you what I be eating and shit, bro. See, this is what they be talking about, bro. This be the type of shit that I be eating. It's not because I'm broke, because I got bread, too. Like, I got the bread, but you got to get you the guacamole or the hummus, fresh celery. I don't think this is an organic cucumber. I probably shouldn't have put this up on the screen. Somebody going to screenshot that and then do a video about me talking about I was... See, I'm trying to shit. See, Burr, Burr, you got me into some shit, bro. Burr, you got me into some shit, bro. I didn't, see, I ain't even about to edit this either. That was bad, bro. I just helped, bro. We out, DJ Ben, 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 Ben. This is turning out a race, bitch, get ready, Sam Mars. How the whole town proud out here screaming, fuck the park. I jumped into that water, I was swimming with that shark. I like two bitches on me like I built the Noah's Ark. When that ice get the splashing in this cup, the sink of y'all sing Duke come home. Yo, this hood, Rich Burke, and you can follow me on IG, BBM underscore hood, Rich. Follow me on Instagram, Rich Follow me on Facebook, Hood Rich Bergen. Follow me on YouTube, all that same name, everything. First day, last name, Hood Rich Bergen, man. I'm here with DJ Bandana back, 716 Live, man. Let's get it. DJ Ban Ban Bandana!